Hey everyone, John here back on the YMC Arc server. And here I am in the middle of the ocean on my newly tamed Plesiosaur. And uh, you guys may be wondering what I'm doing out here with my scuba gear on, or at least my goggles. Um, so I've been working on a new deathmatch arena. You know our old one is over there on Herbivore Island, uh, there in the south. And uh, I had a cool idea, and uh, it actually worked out. So I've got the whole thing built now. And it's located in an underwater cave at about 71.3, 90.3, I believe is the coordinates. And one boy actually came over and helped me build some of these bunkers as well. So I definitely got to give him credit where it's due. Uh, he did a fantastic job on the bunkers. So we'll go ahead and take the Plesiosaur down here and give you guys a tour of the new death match arena that we'll be using in a future stream of Alexis's. All right. So I know first impressions are everything. So what do you guys think so far? I think it's definitely pretty cool looking. Alright, so this is the front entrance here. And um, actually, after I got into building the front entrance, uh, not gonna lie, I kinda wanted to make this my new base. Like, it's definitely really cool looking under here. Uh, I love, like, the ripple effect on the walls and everything, and it's all lit up and stuff. And it doesn't matter whether it's night or day, it stays this same, the lighting in here stays the same the whole time. So I'm calling this... Uh, Team Deathmatch Arena, the Watery Grave. And I think it's pretty fitting. And naturally, you've got to disable the HUD when you come down in here. That way, you don't see names or anything of people running around. So we've picked two different colors for this: slate and cyan. And we've got, I've got flat gear in here, but I think we're actually going to end up using cloth instead uh, to make the matches go a little quicker. So in these doors here, we just have observation decks. So you can climb up the ladder here and view what's going on and as you guys see we've I've went with a stone metal theme and um, with I know with all the torches on you're still getting that bloom effect but with the torches off um, it's still well lit up down in here um, the torches are just for like aesthetic pieces right now really um, you don't get that bloom effect down here with the metal because there's no sun or no source of light really so the metal just looks really cool it looks just shiny um, in here is the fabricator and smithy with some boxes. I don't have any of the um, the, the guns brought over yet. So um, I'll have to bring those over. This is the respawn area up here. We've got six of the modern beds. Uh, the bump beds. Whoa, got some lag. And this is the respawn area. So you can just drop down in right here. And now I'll take you guys in to the main area. So Dino Gate lets you in, and then here it is. So like I said, Wonder Boy helped me make a bunch of these bunkers. I had a few of them made up already, and he he added a lot to it. So um, and it's very maze-like down here, but I think that's pretty cool. That's kind of how a team deathmatch arena should be. So I'll just kind of go over bunker by bunker all the way down and let you guys see. So there's not really much in this one. It's pretty much straightforward here, and then this leads up to the top here. we've got a little fight area here and then this goes down to the next bunker and um, up at the top here we've got a box that says just do it <laughs> and we've got parachutes in here so you can jump off and parachute down um, so the cool part about this area that I need to show you guys is we discovered a glitch in this far corner over here and we used it to our advantage so, when you come over here, you're actually in water. It's about right here, all the way over. You can see the water right here. But we've used it as an elevator to get up to the top as well. So that's pretty cool. And we'll come down here to the next bunker. Now this has three different layers. And you can see down at the bottom, uh, through the bottom, all the way to it. With the uh, railings right there and stuff through the middle. I've got a, a hole cut out through the middle there. And then right underneath here is the bottom layer. And we've got a bridge going all the way across. And most of these bunkers are connected to each other, except for like the ones in the middle here. These aren't really connected. You can go in here. 
and then go up through here and there's another bridge going across leading up to this big bridge that goes all the way to the back of the arena back there and just a bunch of different areas that you can uh, go and shoot from and get angles on people and I'll go ahead and take you guys back to this area now so I've went with like a um, the the metal railings go all the way up to, to look like a steel wall over here I thought that was pretty cool pretty cool look uh, and then this goes all the way down to the bottom and you can run down along the bottom here with the pillars and everything um, I don't know if we have enough cover in here yet there's probably still some work that could be done to make it a little better but for now I think it will work for sure and then this down there is where the plesiosaur is at you can see him looking at us and then this just goes along right here right over the entrance all the way to this middle sniper tower that we have and you can go up here and look off and shoot and do whatever you need to do pretty cool stuff go ahead and drop down there we go caught myself so I didn't take any fall damage but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I left all the crystal and, and pearls and oil that I could down here just to still give it that underwater feel to it. Um, and uh, I think it definitely worked out pretty cool. So that's going to be it for this tour. I'll definitely be posting some deathmatch um, matches after we do the stream. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And as always, I thank you for watching.